Now that we know there are certain conditions that tend to incite high conflict, it might make sense to avoid them. First, don't humiliate your enemy. As Nelson Mandela once said, there is nobody more dangerous than one who has been humiliated, even when you humiliate him rightly. Second, resist binary thinking in groups. In businesses, neighborhoods, families, and countries, blurring the lines between us and them is like buying insurance for your own sanity. It generates healthier conflict. Third, distance yourself from the conflict entrepreneurs in your midst. For some people, like Curtis Toller, the former gang leader, that meant moving across Chicago to create literal space. For others, it means changing who you follow on social media or which news sources you rely on. It also means being aware of the conflict entrepreneur lurking inside all of us. I try to notice now when I use us versus them language. I don't always succeed, but I try to be more suspicious of those times when I feel really righteous or superior, morally or otherwise. I try to question that impulse, hold it up to the light. As Curtis told me, whenever there's a better than and a less than, there's always room for war. And if you can't distance yourself from conflict entrepreneurs, if you need to deal with them, at least try to boost the magic ratio. Put some positive encounters on the balance sheet. Try to show them compassion when they least expect it. As Gary told me, if they're 90% conflict entrepreneur, speak to the 10%. Fourth, look for saturation points, shocks to the system, moments when people start to question whether the high conflict is really worth the cost. Seize those moments. Don't give up on people if you can help it. Getting out of high conflict is really hard and it's impossible to do alone. Finally, complicate the narrative. Be suspicious of simple stories, as the economist Tyler Cohen has said. Sometimes there's a villain and a victim, justice and injustice, good and evil. That's true. Complexity should not be used to distract or obscure that reality. Not all conflicts are complicated, but all people are complicated. And in high conflict, there's almost always false simplicity lingering somewhere in the narrative. False simplicity can blind us. And the cure is curiosity, in my experience. It's contagious. If you can get curious, really curious, about people who disagree with you, it can make conflict healthier almost immediately. Mm -hmm.